welcome back to Misadventures of a Schizophrenic. I am R.G. Tanner, and this is the story of a day-to-day -day schizophrenic. Today, I'm going to be talking about what I call sister syndromes. So, you have one main diagnosis for me that is paranoid schizophrenia, but then you have these other little diagnoses that are just kind of floating around, and in my case, that involves PTSD, general anxiety, and body dysmorphic disorder. And what I'm gonna focus on today is the body dysmorphic disorder. For those of you who aren't aware, body dysmorphic disorder is when you look in a mirror and you see something that isn't real. So when I look in the mirror, I see someone who is 600 pounds, who is covered in boils, who's got jowls hanging down, and because of my paranoid schizophrenia, I see that when I touch my body, I feel it. I, it is completely a perfect delusion and I struggle with this every day even now with these videos I have found it very difficult to be on camera and then on my computer editing and seeing myself time and time again normally I never look in the mirror I have a small mirror which I do my makeup on but I never look in a full-length mirror I rarely look at myself in photos and my husband and my mom and my dad, people who are close to me, have always told me that I'm beautiful, but I cannot see it. And it's something that is just so beyond the depths of my understanding. It is a mystery to me. I am currently in therapy for that. I am going to be pursuing some EMDR because it is my therapist's belief that my body dysmorphic disorder is a direct result of past trauma, as it is in most people. Usually, people have a traumatic event. For me, I had a significant other in my past tell me that I was hideous and that I was fat when I weighed about 125 pounds. And I starved down to 95 pounds, which is scary skinny. I, especially for someone my height, you know, that is outside the realm of the correct BMI. And so I had to work to gain weight. And now I'm at a point where I am I would say I weigh a little bit more than I would want to because I'm on all these psych meds which cause you to gain weight and oftentimes there's no fixing that. These chemicals are in your body and they, they force your body to add on those extra pounds and sometimes that is because your body needs the extra weight to process the medications. I'm doing my best to eat healthy, try to stay a little active, but the fact of the matter is, is that I may never lose that weight unless I just go completely anorexic, which nobody should ever do. No matter what you look like, no matter what you weigh, no matter how you perceive yourself, you still deserve to eat. You still should stay healthy. <clears throat> you know, you deserve to love yourself. And I can tell this to everyone else, but I have a hard time telling it to myself. Um, that's why I rely on the people around me to tell me, and I'm working on being able to tell myself those wonderful things. My husband even put in our bathroom a little, <clears throat> little sticker that says, beautiful. So that way, anytime I do happen to look in that mirror, I am reminded that he thinks that I am beautiful. also put little pieces of paper around the condo that say you're beautiful you're beautiful you're beautiful and he never lets me forget it that to him that's what I am is beautiful and I may not be able to see it but bless his heart he believes it for me so I am a big activist in wanting to promote good body positivity and I just hope that you know, people can learn to love themselves and, you know, realize that everyone, no matter what you think you look like, you deserve love. You deserve to feel beautiful. And I can't stress that point strongly enough, and I'm trying to figure it out for myself, too. So I am trying very hard to love myself. It's not an easy journey, and I'm hoping that I can make some progress with my upcoming therapy. 
And also, if you feel ugly, if you feel like you are just not attractive whatsoever, know that you are not alone. There are so many people in this world that feel that way. That's why the body positivity movement is such a big movement is because so many people hate how they look because media has promoted that thin is right. Thin is beautiful. And that is not always the truth. There is a vast range of beauty from size double zero to size infinity and beyond. No matter what your size, you are beautiful. And I want all of you guys to remember that, carry that with you, and I'm hoping that someday I can carry that for myself. So that's it for today. If you want to know anything more about body dysmorphic disorder and how it works, please comment below. And also, if you would like to read more about my day-to-day -day journey, please check out www.mrsventuresofaschizophrenic.wordpress.com. And if you have any questions that I haven't been able to answer or that I can't answer, please check out NAMI.org and they can help direct you to the answers that you need to get. So I hope you have a great day and thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. See you later.